Um, we have been inside for the past four days. Um, my brother occasionally would uh, take a walk outside to ensure, for example, the neighbors are okay if they need uh, electricity, because the first day we had electricity. Um, and then we had an outage starting the second day on to, until now. Um, so, and then today he went out to get some supplies because we were starting to run out of supplies. Um, basically, it's a shock. No one knew about it, so no one was prepared. The first day, everyone was still taking in the news. No one had time to really get into, you know, fight or flight mode and prepare themselves for it. We didn't know how long this was going to last. And the military is saying, oh, we've got this under control. It's just going to be a day, a day and something kind of situation. And it lasted obviously longer than they've anticipated. So, And in regards to food, thank God we had some st uh, stacked, but um, until today we were starting to run out of some essentials. So he had to go restock. And it's not particularly a great situation because you can hear your brother walking outside the house and you can hear the, the clashing noise and and you're just like you're wondering if he's gonna come back was it worth it like it's just honestly the most suffering situation and now i'm telling them i understand what all these other arab countries have been going through when they had their uh, bombing situations as well like syria libya so i honestly it's just such a traumatic thing to happen we've only been four days into it <laughs> at one point you'll find yourself praying a lot to to really be um you know saved and throughout this and and the country to be saved throughout this and then at one time and other times you're too lost in what's happening around you are you going to be okay are your friends going to be okay your family your neighbors even the people you don't really know but you see around in the streets you know so with ramadan we've reached the point where honestly we don't know which day we are in ramadan even we usually it's like a feast you know when it comes to to breaking our fast it's like a feast and everyone's excited and everyone's um ready for the food but it on, honestly all tastes bland we barely eat anymore because everyone i think everyone's stressed and and, and is on anxiety and um so like i said at times we find i find myself personally like i'm praying so much because i want this all to end but then at other times i feel like i'm i don't even know which yeah i, I forget that ramadan is still upon us um, ceasefire honestly we're in doubt about it as citizens because i've spoken to a lot of people about it and and no one really feels that they'll really keep up their ends of the bargain both sides See, um as soon as it happened as soon as six o'clock came i've witnessed uh, military helicopters and planes flying around. I think they were spotting maybe where the um, Hamiti's forces are. And so of course they started to hit the planes back. Um, so I don't know how long will it last? Will, they, will the military really uphold its part of the ceasefire so the RSF can stop hitting them back? And at this point, after speaking to so many people, we're both we 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 all think that it it at the end of the day it doesn't really matter who wins because we've already all lost because people's houses have been damaged uh, the infrastructure has been damaged even more now and we did we barely even had an infrastructure to begin with and um more people have been killed and it's it's we just feel like whatever is going to come out of it is not it's not what we would hope for this country to have <laughs> On a personal level, I'm at a point right now where I'm worrying every night if people are going to come walk into the house trying to take um, whatever food we have and whatever uh, money we have. And, and that's been happening all around Khartoum. And I can't really tell you which group is doing this, but it's also very, it's the longer this war lasts, the longer we're going to have people starve and people go through situations where now they have to steal and they have to... Uh, try to really live and so the thing is with Hamiti's troops right now they're they're based in areas that are more neighborhoods so once they run out of food and equipment and what they have and what they need they're very easily will be able to walk into houses and say give me what you have because they've got a bigger agenda and a war to win.